Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. So what do you think that I believe is the best Transformers accessory to come out over the last few years? Why the blast effect, of course. So let's discuss this awesome Transformers accessory. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> The Blast Effect was first introduced in the War for Cybertron trilogy Siege line. They came packed with the Battlemasters, like Singe here. You can see Singe right there behind the plastic with two Blast Effects right there. Now, Blast Effects came in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, but the most popular ones were the ones that imitated, you know, like laser blasts or weapons fire and they were pretty cool with their design on how they utilize interactivity with the figures. Most of the blast effects had a 5mm peg that led into a 3mm hole right there. So you take a figure like Optimus Prime, who has his big cannon here, and you could plug in the blast effect using the 5mm port. So now it looks like Optimus Prime is opening fire with his large cannon. Now, another figure, like Deep Cover here, who doesn't have a large blaster like Prime, he's got a little tip on the end of his weapon to utilize the 3mm port. So what you would do is just slot that over the tip of the weapon, and now it looks like Deep Cover is opening fire with his weapon. And so a lot of the smaller figures, Deluxes, had the little tips on their weapons like so, so you can utilize blast effects in a variety of ways. And speaking of variety, there were a bunch for the blast effect. You had these swooshing blast effects that would fit on the sword weapons like Lionizer here. So it looks like it's kind of in motion. So that's pretty cool. You have impact blast effects like on Terexodon right here that shows like he's impacting another figure. So I dig that. I like that. And then you have other impact effects like this on Slitherfang that just shows like an explosion happening on the figure. And of course you can combine the two. You got a little peg on deep cover right here. You could take this explosion blast effect, put on him. And I know Optimus wouldn't do this, but since he's who I have handy, you could actually make it look like Optimus Fire Optimus Fire, Optimus Prime has open fire on deep cover, striking him in the chest. So a lot of playability right there. You could also use the blast effects for engine thrust. Just like I have on Starscream here, the thrusters on the back of his jet mode accommodate the five millimeter port of the blast effect. So that looks awesome. So much playability with these little Blast effects. Some other blast effects included these cool matrix effects. You have these blast effects here. There's two different styles that could clip on a matrix. So it looks like the power of the matrix is being unleashed. This one looks like when Hot Rod first opens it up. And then of course you've got this one right here. That looks like the power of the matrix has already been released. A couple of nice, neat additions for posing with your figures. Now, there is an issue with blast effects that the chemical compound of the soft plastic used for a blast effect can fuse to the plastic on your figure's weapon, figure's body, or accessory. Prime example, I have had this blast effect on this matrix right here since I bought Studio Series Hot Rod. And to be honest, <laughs> I haven't taken the blast effect off and it was all I could do to peel that off the matrix for this video. I was worried I was going to tear it, but I lucked out it didn't. But according to online sources, these can rip the paint off your accessories, so be careful. Another blast effect is this black smoky blast effect that Rodimus Prime came with. And this one is just weird. It just is designed to attach to Rodimus Prime 
to give him some exhaust smoke. And man, that is not very environmentally friendly. You'd expect more from Rodimus Prime. So now, just for fun, let's take a look at all the variety of blast effects that I have just to show you the wide variety that they came in. So here we have one of each blast effect. And as I said earlier, these things come in multiple colors. So I figure it would be easier just to show you one of each. Now, starting here at the top, these are all my weapon blast effects. And this is my least favorite. To me, this looks like a Christmas tree bulb. I just, I don't like this one, and I really don't like how it looks in a blaster. So, looks like maybe a little blowtorch or something. Not a big fan of the Christmas bulb. This one, on the other hand, is my absolute favorite blast effect. I think this one came with Caliburst, and this is actually two separate pieces, but when it came together in the package, I thought it was just one. Now, this same blast effect was released later by itself to imitate a flame. It came with Hot Link and his partners, but this one with the added base just looks absolutely awesome in a weapon. So get that plugged in. So look at that. That looks so cool. So right there, that is my favorite. And here it is without the blast or the, I don't know what you call it, the flash. So yeah, without the flash, it does just look like a flame. Next up, we have the squiggle blast. I'm not sure what to call that. Maybe the Ghostbuster blast or something. It's like a squiggle beam, some type of laser firing out. Go ahead and plug this in so you can get a look at this. This one is not too bad. It looks like some kind of energy beam. And it comes, like I said, in multiple colors. The red and the green are my favorite. Next up is this pink lightning blast. This came with the rung that came with the Netflix Ultra Magnus. And I only have one set of these in pink. I think they would look a lot better in blue. But here it is, plugged into a weapon. Eh, it's all right. Next up is another blast that came with the regular retail version of Rung, this blue energy bolt. And to me, this looks kind of like a freeze blast. So plug that into Deep Cover's weapon. So yeah, that could pull off a freeze blast. Next up is, I'm not sure what to call this. It's like a bolt. It's like a plasma ball being fired out. You got this long flexible beam that ends in this big glob of energy. So plug that in right there. So that's what that looks like. It's like a laser Luki or something. Next up is the blast effect that came with Scourge. And I hate this one. This one just, to me, that looks like a sex toy. I'm sorry, but it does. Plug this into the weapon and yeah, <laughs> whatever. Not a fan of that one. And then we have this right here. This is the blast that came with Studio Series Hot Rod. Let me find him. And so this blast effect actually plugged into his weapons there on his forearm. So it looks like he's firing from his little forearm cannons, just like he did in Transformers the movie. Next up, we have the impact effects that I showed. That was the one attached to Taraxodon. Then you had this larger impact effect that came with, trying to think what his name was, Smashdown, the battle master that turned into a hammer. So this is a pretty cool one. I use this one a lot in pictures, like on the ground, if a blast is hitting the ground because it's such a large impact. See how it looks there? So that's pretty cool. It can also, because of the port right there in the middle, it can attach to a weapon to kind of give it this look if you so choose. But, you know, they're very versatile. That's one of the great things I love about these blast effects. Now let's see, we have the swoosh that I showed off earlier, and then we've got multiple impact blast. These are the ones that came with the, 
uh, battle masters that turned into the ramps or the shields. This one's really cool. That's a large impact, like I showed earlier. You can peg that right onto the peg on Deep Cover's chest right there. So it looked like he took a hit. So these are really cool. Next up, we've got the Matrix effects that I showed you earlier. The big black smoke effect that came with Rodimus. And these, love these. These are the combining blast effects. These are the ones that came with Jetfire. And it's actually three blast effects combined into one. Take those apart so you have a small blast effect here. I showed these earlier attached to Starscream. So you've got like that type of blast effect. Then you can combine it with the second half or an either, even bigger blast. And then combine all three together for a mega blast. So yeah, he's, he's got some good shells in that cannon. These were mainly used for Jetfire's exhaust. The same with these right here. Now these are the heaviest and thickest of all the blast effects. These came with Omega Supreme. As you can see, it looks like a rocket launching. And where Jetfire, you had three, you get four with this one. You got the base, big section here, and then these four smaller pieces, or these three smaller pieces. And these are the most solid of all the blast effects and the ones that have the most paint applications to them to kind of give that smoky look. Now, I think if you attach this to Deep Cover's gun, I'm not sure if he'll be able to support the weight. And I am surprised, but I can't let him go or that's going to happen. So yeah, there is your blast effects. Now, there is a couple that I do not have. There was this flame blast effect that came with Dazzle Strike, who was the Amazon exclusive green light figure. Dazzle Strike was the green version of Lionizer here. And these X-Men blast effects that came with, oh, what was the name of the crossover X-Men jet? I have it back in my closet. I haven't even opened it up yet. Expanse. Expanse was his name. Now, something kind of depressing I noticed the other day when I was filming Blaster here is Blaster is the first figure in three years whose weapon is not blast effect compatible. And that's kind of depressing. I mean, I've enjoyed these things for three years. I mean, they're great for when you're shooting reviews or for, for photography. And it just makes so much more adds so much more playability to these Transformer figures, and I hate to see them disappear. I mean, I hope maybe they'll come back. I hope we're not losing them because, man, blast effects are a blast. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that help keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!